Vanessa may be starting to dream again. What's tantalizing is that, unlike launching someone else into outer space, this idea may appear far more appealing to the average Joe. This is the computer model concept of NASA's experimental one-man Puffin electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. As you can see, the vehicle would stand on its tail on the ground with four legs splayed out for stability. Out on the wings, electric motors drive four blades. At first it might look like they counter-rotate, but look closely and you'll see the pitch is consistent for the lower and upper pairs on each side. When they start up later, you'll see that they're spinning uniformly on each side, with the left and right motors operating in opposite directions. That counters the torque and helps stabilize the vehicle. As the vehicle powers up, watch the trailing edge control surfaces split. NASA says that's meant to deflect thrust so that the vehicle stays on the ground until it and its pilot are ready to go. You'll also see the legs come together and form control surfaces behind the aircraft. Now let's talk performance. The idea here is to make an aircraft from carbon fiber that weighs 300 pounds empty with a 14 and a half foot wingspan that can cruise at about 150 miles an hour or sprint at almost 300, propelled by two seven and a half foot rotor discs. Driven by electric motors, the vehicle would be much quieter than a small airplane and much more efficient, weighing far less and losing far less energy through the creation of heat. NASA hopes the vehicle could be flown at altitudes as high as 30,000 feet, where the pilot would need not just heat, but supplemental oxygen. Running on electrics, the vehicle would suffer no loss of internal combustion horsepower as the air thins out at higher altitudes, and no need for turbocharging to compensate for that. For now, practical downsides include short endurance. NASA is projecting a range of about 50 miles at cruise, provided by about 100 pounds of lithium phosphate batteries. Those who are keeping score will note that means the craft structure, motors included, would weigh in at about 200 pounds. Those paying even closer attention can deduce that 50 miles at 150 miles per hour passes in about 20 minutes. But NASA is betting that researchers can come through on their forecast of tripling current battery energy densities over the next five to seven years. That improvement would mean the Puffin could be flying closer to 175 miles by about 2017.